Hey, welcome back. My name's Al, and today we are going through the five things that Pixel Logic changed and updated for ZBrush Core Mini 2021. Let's do it. Okay, so we're in ZBrush Core Mini 2021. Brand new update, just streamed today. I was in there for a little bit during my lunch break. Loved it, super cool stuff. Let's dive in. So there are five things that they have changed that I'm aware of. Very first thing is a minor thing, but top right corner. See where it says EN? We can now select the language. French, Japanese, Spanish, German, Chinese, Korean. Nice little touch here if you ever need to change it. Great addition. Second thing, ambient occlusion. If we look in the bottom left of our screen, we have an occlusion button. Click this, boom, look at my model, on, off, on. But really you need to be looking in cracks and crevices. So if I just crank it to 100, we can really see what's going on here. And it's a pretty cool feature. So ambient occlusion is just those uh, contact shadows. Whenever you have one object really close to another object, it's those little shadows. This is just, you know, kind of being faked for the, the viewport, but it's really neat. Next up, this is probably my favorite feature feature that they added. This feature is with the smooth button. If you didn't know already, hopping into any brush and holding shift, we can smooth. That's all normal. Previously, whenever you were to smooth, it would tessellate your mesh larger, but it wouldn't go smaller. So you can see I have these large polygons and they are getting smaller based on my brush size. So I'm going to turn this way down. Hold shift. Remember, that's not actually sculpting, but it's changing the tessellation. It's like adding more polygons where I need more detail. So super large polygons. And let's say, man, I'm ready for this detail. So if I were to come in here and get a small brush size, we know the polygons are gonna be more dense, but take a look at some of this jagginess, right? And let's go even smaller for this example. Okay, so <laughs> there we go. That's terrible, right? This shouldn't be doing it. It's doing its best, but these polygons are so large compared to the detail that I need, it's not working too great. So what I'm gonna do is kind of prep this area for that detail. I'm going to turn on polyframe, hold shift now because I can just kind of prep this area with my slash brush, very small. Look how crisp and clean that detail is because I prepped that area and we can do that with shift. So fantastic. Use it for details. Use it all the time. Next up, turntable. All right, this one's pretty cool as well. Nice little nice little addition, nice little touch. You know, we can export as an image, OBJ file. Now we have a turntable button. I'm gonna press that. So we'll just hit okay. And it's going to record a, a turntable. So this object is spinning or, you know, our camera is rotating around and it's gonna spit us out a movie file. I'll just throw this in my downloads real quick. Test one. Now I have a movie file in that location. Hey, and I can share this with my friends, do whatever I want with it. Nice touch, nice touch. The last one, I know this is the one that most people are excited about. Let's go ahead and get a new sphere. And that is the VDM brushes. They're called chisel brushes, but it's a vector displacement mesh. Let's click it here, let's run through it. I know these are gonna be the most popular. We have these VDMs that we can left click and drag onto my mesh. Okay, let's turn off symmetry. We don't need that. We don't need the double nose thing. And I can just drag out this nose. It is based on your draw size. So if I have a very large draw size, this nose is going to be very blocky. You see that? Very low poly. And let's make it very small, much higher resolution. Let's go even smaller to get that great detail. There we go. So we can see the blockiness here versus how smooth it is right there. So we have 17 different ones here. So you can left click and drag. There's a mouth. Yay, we need that. That's upside down. Looks like you need to left click and drag up uh, because I keep wanting to drag down and that is always apparently upside down. So here's an ear. There's a crazy alien mouth thing. This is super cool. Horns, eyes, nose, scales, anything that you want. Scales, very cool. There's a nostril and let's look at this one. So all of these do exactly the same thing. This one in particular, and the last one has 85 different VDMs of all different shapes and sizes. Ooh, ogre mouth. So super, super cool. My kids are going to love this. This is going to be really, really amazing for people new to sculpting, brand new, just so they can hop in here, play around, create their own monsters, whatever they want. So we're going to have another video at a later date, just kind of discussing these, the pros and the cons of these uh, but in general it's always awesome to have an update to core mini which i love so much because it's been a lot of fun and so if you haven't yet go download core mini today no reason not to 100 free go check it out if you like what you saw you felt like i earned it hit that subscribe button i'll see you next time